got it all. Perfect. Expanders, how to use them, what they consist of, and their parts. Live demonstration on a trumpet as well. In front of us, we have a series of expanders. We have the traditional small expanders, small, medium, large. In front of us here, we have a piccolo and a flute head joint expander. We have saxophone neck expanders, and we have expanders for euphonium and other type of slides, where we need the lengths to get them, okay? All expanders basically operate the exact same way. Let's talk about a little bit of care and maintenance. All of our expanders, we just get a little zoom up maybe up here, consist of a shaft, whether it's straight, 90 degrees, and it has a split end. Okay. In this particular case, we have it split in six. We have a collet on the inside, which is basically a taper and a knurled nut. Basically, we can, we can remove this and remove the collet. What we have is a, a tapered shaft that is threaded in the end that literally all it does is pull forward, expanding the end. Okay. Care and maintenance of our thing. Periodically, we will get an expander that starts to expand a bit too wide here. And what happens is we have some fairly large and unruly gaps in these areas. If we leave this unattended, what will happen is these areas here will gouge into our piece. Okay. We're just going to get a little bit of a close-up of these tips now. One of the things we'd like to do is we press in the tips. Trying to get it back round. Okay, so the gaps are fairly narrow. Good way to check this out, place your tip back in and it should form around the tip fairly close. Okay, this what this tells us is our lines are about where they were set at the factory and we have no large gaps. We want to check to make sure there are no twists in these areas. If we have twists, we probably do not want to use the tool. For storage, never tighten our tool to where it expands and pulls the tip. Okay. Never store your tool this way because the memory black. Just get a close up of that. We can just see that it's expanded the tip is recessed, we never want that. Back off your tool, push, push the collet so it sticks out a little bit. And this will ensure us that we don't have this tip being pulled. Likewise, we never want to grab it from this area and store it this way because the pressure will pull it through. Okay. How to use these tools. What we have now is a demonstration on a trumpet. We just move over here slightly. We can pull this main tuning slide out. It's being repaired and it's sliding kind of rough. So one would think the slide is overexpanded. When we check each slide individually though, we find that one slide is way too loose. In this particular case, we want to expand the slide. We check the top one, we can see that we're fairly tight. In this case, we want to expand the outer slide tube. Okay? And we can do that using these tools very effectively. We can place our expanders in the vise, or we can have the instrument in the vise, depending on which piece we're working on. If we're working on the tube mounted here, okay, we would use this mounted on a jig. However, you notice how loose this is. This would not be a good choice because the expansion here would be too great. We'll move up to our next size, which we have a fairly snug fit. We can move it in so we can feel the end. We're going to pull on the end now and we're going to tighten the draw knob. As we do this, we now get a nice snug fit in here finger tight please. We want to work this in and just work it back and forth. 
If your instrument was really dirty, you would probably want to do a cleaning on it first. And basically, we just want to work it in and out very gently. We do not want to continue to twist this. We just want to use the arm now. Now that we've actually pulled the expander out, one of the things you should have noticed is whether or not you had an even uh, pressure exerted in here. If you've come across and you found areas that were tighter than the others, chances are you probably have a dent in that area. One of the things you should really look out for is to see if it's an area where it braces. Okay? If it is, the chances are you have a dent underneath the brace. In this case, your best method, if you want a quality repair, is to remove the brace, remove the dent, and then start over. If it's fairly smooth, you reapply your piece. If it's fairly, if it'll still hold it up, that's what you'd like, and you'd continue on from there. The goal is you want a tight enough fit that you can manipulate this and still have it hold, and not loose enough where it'll fall. Okay? bit of tuning slide grease on here and it'll work very, very well. The cleaning would probably not hurt. Okay. Now we want to work on the inner slide. What are we going to do? Most likely what we're going to do is we're going to remove the trumpet from here. We're going to take our expander and we're going to place it in our vise. Now I would typically use this vise here and use it um, in a different direction. Okay. Bottom one is, is now we use the same slide. Will this fit? Typically it will not fit. Compresses too much. Simply back off the screw, push in to relieve the pressure, and change to the accordion one. The middle one is used on the outer tuning slides of trumpets and cornets. The inner one such as what we have here typically uses the small expander. Fits nicely inside and will travel almost all the way through. We need to mark and figure out our distance. To do that we can simply do it that way. We're going to pull back on the knob, dial it forward, okay? We want to grab it just so it's a little tight, finger tight. I can still move this with one finger. And then I slowly want to pull and work the slide out, okay? Now, do a little bit at a time. Because what this will do is loosen it up a bit it will also true up the slide if the slide is out around. Okay? In this case, we're going to go back to our expander and we're going to go a little bit further. Okay? Now you must be careful when you're doing this. If I just hold it from here, the chances of me bending this crook are very great, especially if I've gone slightly too tight. If I feel it a bit too tight, I can loosen, push in. Notice that I grab at the top portion of the bolt or the crook. I have the greatest amount of control here. And I'm just being patient with it, just bringing it out. If you're holding the slide, you're going to notice that you're creating heat, and that's from the friction. Going back to our trumpet. Try it again. We have a little bit more to go. Typically, this type of, uh, of expansion and looseness is typically caused from when somebody has sanded the area down. They've taken too much off and have created a slide that is just too weak. This will give you a lot of problems as there's a lot of chance for the moisture to get in between the slide the inner and the outer slide tubes. When this occurs, 
you can literally have the pieces fusing together. Okay, we would continue this until we were tight enough, until we had a similar fit to the top, and we would go from there. These are the use of the slide expanders.